Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Block Files, Multi-Line List Files, I'm going to show you how you can use a multi-line list file to fill in multiple blanks in a single step. This feature can be especially useful when filling in attorneys, such as on your appearance page. Multi-line list files are very similar to regular list files and block files. They need to be created the same way by going to your transcript list and into your blocks folder. I have created a list file for attorneys already. I've called it Z attorney. And if I open that up in my attorneys list file, I have each of the attorneys I've encountered in the past listed. And you see that each attorney or law firm has its own paragraph. All of the information for each attorney or firm is on a single paragraph, and each bit of information is separated by a plus sign. At the beginning, I have a selector designator followed by an at sign. This means that if I'm looking for Joe Jones and Associates, I can start typing Jones and it'll be able to find it. After my selection designator, the actual information for the attorney or law firm is listed. First is the name of the attorney or firm, and then there's a plus sign. Each plus sign indicates that the next bit of information will go into a new line on a new blank field. First, I have the name of the attorney or firm. Next, I have the street address. Next, I have the city, state, and zip. Next is the phone number. And last is the attorney or firm's email address. I have all the same information for each of my attorneys. And if I open up my title page, Now that I'm in my title page, I see that I have five fields for each appearance. For my plaintiffs, I have a field for their name, a field for their street address, a field for city, state, and zip, a field for phone, and a field for email. Since all of my attorneys in my list file have five pieces of information, this will all fill in automatically. If for some reason some of your attorneys may not have an email address, what you can do is on your email field, simply right click and go to properties and choose delete line if empty. That way, if you do add any attorneys to your list and they don't have an email contact to add, that blank will simply be removed since it's not filled in. In my case, however, I have set up my list file so that I have complete contact information for everybody. So I don't have delete line if empty checked on any of my blanks. On the very first blank where it says plaintiff and defendant, if I right click and go to properties, you see that this is where my list file is assigned. It only needs to be assigned to the first blank in a group. It doesn't need to be assigned to each individual blank. And again, to assign the list file, all I did was simply choose browse and select Z attorney. And that fills in the list file for me automatically. And when I go to fill in these fields, I'll be able to choose from my attorney list. For my defendant field, I've done the same thing and I'm calling on the same file. I'm going to go back to my Z attorney list. And one thing that I do see in here is that again, my list is not in order. I'm going to go to the beginning of my list. I'll hit Alt N and I'm going to choose index command. And I'm going to type sort in all caps. This will cause the list to sort alphabetically so that when I go to fill in my blank files, I'll be able to choose from my attorneys and law firms from an alphabetical list. I'll still be able to use my quick designators to quickly jump through the list, but they'll be in alphabetical order for me so that they'll be easier to identify. I'm going to close out of my list file and I'm going to close out of my title page. I have a sample file that I've prepared that's ready for my title page to be read in. I'll press Alt R and I'll choose my title page. My title page has read in and you see that I have all of my blank fields for both appearances and I can begin filling in my blanks. I'll go to the top and press Control E. I'll choose the correct county. I'll fill in my case number. The next blank field that I'm taken to is my plaintiff. And you see that I'm able to choose from all of the law firms and attorneys that I had in my list. Additionally, since I added the sort command at the top of my multi-line list file, these attorneys and law firms are all in alphabetical order. I can choose whichever I'd like. I'll choose Jones for the plaintiff, and when I press OK, you'll see that all of these fields will get filled in. And so my Joe Jones and Associates has filled in correctly with the address, city, state, zip, phone, and email address. Next, I can choose my defendant. I'll choose Anthony Anton, 
And when I press OK, these fields will also be filled in. And I've been taken to the next field in my document. Using multi-line list files allows you to fill in a great deal of information all at once and saves you a lot of time from having to type all of this information or retrieve it and copy and paste it. I've opened another copy of the file and I'm going to read in my title page again. And I'll fill in the case number and county quickly. And this time what I'm going to do is add a new attorney for my plaintiff. To add a new attorney, I've typed in all of the same information that I had in the list file. First, I've put my designator. Next, I've put the name of the attorney or law firm, followed by a plus sign. Next, I've put the street address, followed by a plus sign. Next, I've put the city, state, and zip, and again, followed by a plus sign. Then, the phone number, followed by a plus sign. And last, the email address. Once I have the information typed in here, I can hit Add at the top. And this has been added to my list file, and I can choose it and press OK. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add another attorney. So again, here, what I've typed, the first thing for my multi-line list file is going to be my designator, followed by an at sign. Next is the name of the firm, followed by a plus sign. Next is the street address, again, followed by a plus sign. Next, city, state, and zip, followed by a plus sign. Next, phone number, followed by a plus sign. And last, the email address. And again, each plus sign moves the next bit of information to the next blank field. And so since I have five blank fields, I should have five pieces of information separated by four plus signs. Again, I'm going to hit Add at the top. And I can choose Morgan, Morgan, and Morgan to fill in my defendant. And again, this information has all been added to my document. And if I open my blocks folder, you see that at the bottom of this list file, I have the two new attorneys and firms that I've added. So all this information is constantly updated and constantly available to me. Using multi-line list files is a great way to save time when you're filling in forms. It allows you to build up a list of all of the firms that you encounter in your work, so that the next time you take proceedings involving these parties, you can just automatically fill in their information with a single click of your mouse, rather than having to type all of this information. I hope that this video on multi-line list files has been helpful and that it will encourage people to use them. They do save a lot of time and they can be very helpful. If you need any help with block files or blanks of any kind, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is additionally available at support at eclipsecat.com. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about any of our products or services. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Have a great day!